I had on the subject of our podcast kind of a fun experience, which is uh, a couple days ago, I went uh, and, and visited my in-laws uh, up on Bainbridge Island um, in, uh, in Seattle. Mm. So I went to Seattle, and then you get on a ferry and you go over to Bainbridge Island, and there was a gathering there, and I attended with my wife and kids, and we had a lovely time. And then you drive back the other direction, and you get back on the ferry to go back to Seattle. And we're waiting in line, and I get out to kind of just stretch my legs and because we're waiting on the ferry and sitting in our car, our cramped rental car. Was, <laughs> oh, nice dig. Well, I'm sorry. It was, it was a little – you know what it was? It's a perfectly – I'm not going to name the car. It was a perfectly fine car, but I, as you know, I have freakishly long legs. Yeah. Right. And not the most generous interior on this car. Mm. It's very hard to rent a Bugatti. And, <laughs> oh, um, Jesus. And so wow. – no, This was, a, this was a, uh, an American car that was a little cramped up front. And so I get out, and I'm stretching my legs, and these people uh, in the car next to me recognize me, and they're very excited, which is nice, and their windows are down, and they go, this is so weird. And I said, what? And they said, we listened to the podcast on this commute back and forth to Bainbridge Island all the time, and here you are. And, you know, I was half leaning into their car, invading their space. Sounds yeah. Because I'm a needy person, and I really wanted to get my head all in their car and be like, oh, how are you? And um, <laughs> You nixon them? I nixon them. <laughs> I get in the old Nixon. <laughs> That's Nixon motorboating a woman. Oh. <laughs> I'm no, not a crook. Uh, I could have gone my whole life <laughs> Anywho, without that. Uh, my I, have, whole I haven't life. lived till I've heard that. So on the I, other that I can't. I leaned, you know, I was, I'm talking to them, and it just was so funny because I, I, it just tickled my fancy that here are people who they do this commute a lot. And can you imagine if your commute every day and you you like this podcast, so you're listening to it. And you, it's your part of your regular diet. And then the next yeah. thing you know, I'm sticking my head in your window. It's like they yeah. summoned you. Yes, exactly. It was like the conjuring. And so it got me thinking that I should make it. I want to pledge to people out there who listen to this on a commute. There's a decent chance <laughs> you will encounter me while you're in your car. And I will stick my head in the window. Yeah. The more you listen, the more that is likely. Yes. And... Um, it'll be kind of like, you know, when you hear sometimes about someone who hits a deer with their car and the, the deer gets partially through the windshield and then the deer starts thrashing. That's me. If I know you've been listening to the podcast and I encounter you and I stick my head in, I may become wild and start thrashing. Oh, man. Yeah, and then you've got to just put me out of my misery as quickly as possible. Do you ever get upset that people mention the podcast but don't mention that 28 years you were on television? <laughs> you know what's so funny? I don't. Really? Yeah, you'd think I would. Um, I think if someone went way out of their way to say, I love this podcast, what were you doing before? That would... <laughs> Well, it means they're keeping up with you. That's a good but sign. But I'm telling you, I yeah. have, I have, you know, uh, it doesn't happen a lot, but there are still times when I encounter someone and they go like, oh, my God, Conan O'Brien, you are, I just love what you did on The Simpsons. Oh. And I'll say, oh, that's great. And they sometimes almost look like they don't know what happened after that. Yeah. And I, so I'm happy if anyone likes anything I did. If someone says that, that uh, crocheted potholder you made... <laughs> For Mrs. Gaines in the fifth grade was just killer. I'll take it. So I'm just happy that people like it. But um, it did get me interested in, oh, right, people listen. A lot of people listen to podcasts while they're commuting. Yes. And I just want you to know if you're commuting right now. Yeah. Or if you're in your car and you're listening. Um, look in your back seat. Look in the back yeah. seat. And I, there's a, I want to say there's an 11% chance I will rise up behind you. You'll see me in the rearview mirror. Oh, God. And I'll give you the old Nixon no, motorboat. No! Oh, come, come here, Pat. Come here, Pat. <laughs> no, 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 Dick, no. Oh. Now get in those boobies, sir. Oh. Hold them in your when get in here. Oh. He's uh, motorboating those guys, too? No, he wants them to watch. He oh. wants Haldeman and Ehrlichman to watch him motorboat Pat. Got this it. is what was on the missing portion of the Watergate tapes. Yeah, yeah, yes. exactly. <laughs> that, he wasn't worried about being caught. When he... It's when, just when, decency. When they, when, when they suspected him of having his assistant 
Rosemary Woods delete the crucial 18 minutes. <laughs> little floor he pedal. wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't him worried about being caught orchestrating the break-in or the cover-up of the Watergate. It was the 18 minutes of him motorboarding Pat. <laughs> And more so because he had a method that he didn't want to get out there. You know, what I mean? no one must know. Motorboating. I have a secret yeah. method with ladies that drives them crazy. <laughs> no one must know of my motorboating. I let the old five o'clock shadow grow out a little. Oh, no. A little friction there. No. Yet the old peace signs in the air. Yeah. And oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, the shadow. <laughs> yep. It's just gonna hurt. No, just if you grow it out <laughs> just a little bit. It's, it's a an little exfoliant. Bit of, yeah, it's an exfoliant. <laughs> yeah. Come here. Oh, you lose your loofah? Come here. <laughs> take off your top. Please, Mr. President. If you don't have a loofah, take off your top. I'm going to give you the breasts of a 20-year-old. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to loof you up real good. Give me the old Dick Nixon. <laughs> a motorboat. Oh, no, checkers. Don't go in there. <laughs>